What's up guys and welcome to this second uh, part in the series on how to create a Supreme bot using Python. Now this video is uh, or has come out quite a bit later than I expected so if uh, you don't remember what we did in part one you can go back and watch that uh, if you want sort of a detailed overview and if not I'll just show you um, how far we got in this video also. All right, so just to brush up, the main objective is to create a Python bot that can check or buy something on Supreme for you whenever the drops come on Thursday. So the final product is just a random um, item from Supreme will look like this. Right, so we run the bot, it opens up a browser, it asks it to the card, fills out your information, and then it will also process the payment. Uh, we just need to click this button also, but obviously there's no reason to do that since this is all just random information. Okay, so uh, how far did we get last time? We got to the point that we have this uh, info dictionary down here that we specify a product in and a color. And then we found the direct link to the product on Supreme's website, right? So in our example, we have this uh, extension right here to the base URL, which is uh, supremeyork.com. And this uh, link um, is a direct link to this specific product in this specific color on the Supreme website. All right, so uh, where do we go from here? We define a new method and let's call it visit uh, site because now we actually need to interact with the site right it takes one argument self and then we'll use the browser instance we created so self that v that uh, what's it called visit and then in here it will be we format the string so just use this and then it takes the self that base url and it takes the, mm, I think we have to cast this to a string. So it takes the self that uh, final link, right? The direct link that we found to the product. And then that should be it right now. And then also we want when we are on the site. So let me just run the original bot once again to open up a browser. Okay, so let's, um, Let's just exit this and go here. Okay, so this is the product and then we need to add it to, or we need to first select the correct size, right? So if we inspect the element, we see that we need to, uh, we can do find by option and then find option by text, right? So usually if there were more sizes, this would be an option to choose and we can find it via the text. So in this case, uh, the option text is large. Okay, so we do um, self dot b dot find, I think it's find option yeah, by text um we say self dot so we access our info dictionary and then we grab whatever we specified the size as and then we click all uh, right so we select that and then we want to add it to the basket right so if we inspect the add to basket element we see that it has uh, a value called add to basket so we can use the browser instance and say find by I think it's just called the value yeah then we can do add to basket dot click something like that and then uh, that's actually all we have to do on this specific site so then we define a new method and we call it, I don't know, 
check out funk oh just take self also and then basically the logic here is that we we know that we just need to go to the checkout uh, URL so we go to self .b visit, and then we say uh, let me just format it so it's a bit all right so format and, and then we have the self dot base url and we have the uh what's it called do we call it self dot checkout extension all right so this will bring us to supreme new york.com slash checkout and when we are on the checkout page this is equivalent to what you see here. And then basically what we need to do is that we need to locate each of these fields by saying expect or inspect element and then finding the uh, name down here. And then we use the browser instance to fill in inf uh, text into these fields. So if I just demonstrate with the first one, we say self .b fill. And then you, the fill method takes the um, name. So in this case, it's order. I'll just copy and paste it, I think. All right, so just take it down here. And then order billing name. And then what we do is that we say what do we want to fill in there? We want to fill in the self dot info and then the name field, right? So um, yeah, you just do this for all the different uh, fields in here. And in the event that you have something like this, you can use the b dot select so let me just show you this specific one so you have uh, the name is order billing country right so we can copy and paste this and then we can say self that b dot um, so select and then we say what do we want to select we want to select what we specified in the info dictionary for the key uh, country right. and the same goes for you, uh, the way you choose this uh, credit card over here and the expiration date and whatnot okay so then uh, I have it over here in another terminal so I'll just copy and paste it filled in this one and I already filled in the billing country right if that's uh, these two so as you can see I just do the same for the email as with the billing name the same for the telephone number billing address billing city billing zip and then I use the select method for the credit card type for the expiration date and then whenever you want to click uh, this uh, box over here I have read and agreed to terms and conditions after you of course read them defined by uh, you use the find by CSS method and then you just look for the, the dot terms right because it's a uh, the terms here so it's also visual like I can't really bring the mouse up but it's the uh, you just basically look for the CSS and then you can click that and then the last thing to do is to process the payment, right? So you use find by value process payment, and then you also use the click because you can expect this and see that it has the value process payment. Okay. And then 
that's basically it so I'll just comment out this now just to bring it all together let's create a function or a method call it main take in self and then in here we basically just run everything in order so we say uh, init browser right and then we say self that find product and then we say self that visit site and then we say self dot uh, checkout func and then down here rather than calling the find product method just call the main method and then it's actually ready to run so let's have a look so we say python bot dot pi run it see that it opened up a uh, firefox window okay so okay so i just realized i just tried to run it and it crashed as you can see over on the right hand side and it was of course just because i need to change the size to something that's actually in stock in order to demonstrate it so i just changed the size in the info dictionary to large and then we try and run it again so it opens up the window then it adds it to the card it fills out your information checks the boxes and whatnot and you just uncomment this um, uh, process payment dot click and then it also processes the payment for you so that was it for the supreme bot tutorial now whenever you of course want to change uh, the product you just change the information in the info dictionary and then you're good to go so thank you for watching and please subscribe